Good day everyone! For today's video, we're going to study telling time. Did you know that sundial is a clock powered by sunlight? Take a look at these two clocks. How are they different from each other? What time is it in clock on the left side? How about the time on the right side? A clock tells time. Clock on the left side is what we call the digital clock. While the clock on the right side is what we call the analog clock. Digital clock shows us time directly. In a digital clock, the number on the left tells the hour, while the number on the right tells the minutes. So children, what time is it? Very good! The time is 5.20. How about this one? What time is it? That's correct! It's 10.45. How about this one? What time is it? That's correct! It's 8.5 How about if you have this? What time is it? Good job! It's 1.20 How about this one? What time is it? Fantastic! It's 9 o'clock Let's have the analog clock. Analog clocks use hands to show the hours and the minutes. The short hand tells the hours, while the long hand tells the minutes. In an analog clock, the time that is covered by the minute hand from one number to the next number is equivalent to 5 minutes. Therefore, when the minute hand is pointing at 1, we read it as 5 minutes. When it is pointing at 2, 10 minutes. When 3, 15 minutes. 4, 20 minutes. 5, 25 minutes. 6, 30 minutes. 7, 35 minutes. 8, 40 minutes. 9, 45 minutes. 10, 50 minutes. 11, 55 minutes. And for 12, that is equivalent to 60 minutes. Or it is o'clock. Always remember, in every one hour, we have 60 minutes in total. Is that clear, children? So now, what time is it? As you can see, the short hand is pointed at 6 while the long hand is pointing at 3. So let's count how many minutes do we have here. Always remember, we're going to count it by 5s, starting at 1. Is that clear? Let's have 5, 10, 15. So that means we have 15 minutes. When writing time using numerals, we write first the number of hours, which is 6 because the short hand is pointed at 6, followed by the colon, then the number of minutes. Again, children, how many minutes do we have here? That's correct, we have 15 minutes since the long hand is pointed at 3. So the time is 6.15. How about if we have this? What time is it? As you can see, the short hand is between 9 and 10. Always remember children, it's not yet 10. So you're going to pick the smaller number, which is 9. How about the long hand? It is pointed at 5. So how many minutes do we have here? Let's count by 5. Started at 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So we have 25 minutes. So what time is it? Again, children, when writing time using numerals, we write first the number of hours, followed by the colon, then the number of minutes. So the time is 9.25. 
How about if we have this? What time is it? Very good, that is 12 o'clock. Since the long hand is pointed at 12, so that means there's no minutes. That's why we wrote 00. zero. Is that clear? This is 12 o'clock. How about if we have this? What time is it? As you can see, the short hand is pointed between 10 and 11. So we're going to pick the smaller number, which is 10, then followed by 55, since our long hand is pointed at 11. So the time is 10.55. Have you noticed the AM and PM signs attached to time? The expressions AM and PM are used to tell before noon and afternoon. In telling time, the hours in a day are usually divided in sets of 12 hours noon until next midnight. And from midnight until noon, we use AM for the first part of the day. AM stands for Antimeridium, which means before noon. So we use AM during 12 midnight up to 11.59 in the morning. While PM, the second part of the day is indicated as PM, which stands post meridian or afternoon. So we use PM from 12 noon up to 11.59 in the evening. Is that clear, children? So now, let's have this one. Andre went to school at... What do you think is the time? Very good! Andre went to school at 7.30 a.m. How about this one? Rio eats dinner at... Good job! It's 8 o'clock p.m. How about this one? Anna went home from school at... Very good, children! It's 5, 5 p.m. How about this one? The students visit the school gym at... That's correct! It's 3, 45 p.m. How about this one? Gino is eating breakfast at... Good job, children! It's 7.25 a.m. since it's breakfast. Always remember, children, in an analog clock, the short hand tells the hours while the long hand tells the minutes. And AM is used from 12 midnight up to 11.59 in the morning, while PM is used from 12 noon up to 11.59 in the evening. And lastly, when writing time using numerals, we write first the number of hours, followed by the colon, and then the number of minutes. So the time is 6.10. That's all for today, children. I hope you learned something. Bye!